Welcome to all of you. In the second part of the size reduction equipment, in this video discussion, you learn homogenization process. Dear friends, homogenization it is one of the most important unit operation for the liquid food processing. In this video discussion, you learn the principal construction working sketch of the main homogenization equipments which are involving in the food processing industry. First, what is meant by homogenization? Homogenization, that means in this process, whatever the liquid food products, in this liquid food products containing particle size, these particle size are uneven size, this uneven size of the particles to reduce to uniform or even size and to produce the final uniform product that is the stable uniform homogeneous product which is produced by the homogenization process. In this homogenization process, size reduction process, that means liquid food product containing constituents, this constituents to reduce its average size and to produce the uniform product is called as the homogenization process. Which foods are mostly homogenized? In dairy industry, milk and milk products like the, this label, you can see the pasteurized homogenized tone milk, whatever the fluid milk in tone milk, double tone milk, standardized milk, these are the homogenized. Then other flavored milk, let's see, these are the products are also homogenization processes carried out to produce the homogeneous final product. Then second group that is the fruits and vegetable like the extracted pulp, juice, puree, paste, these are also homogenized. Then next other thick consistency product like the sausage paste, gravies, these are also homogenized to produce the basic purpose to produce the stable uniform and the proper consistency of the final product to produce the stable emulsion of the final product and by the combination of other processing in which homogenization is very important for the emulsification, grinding, dispersing, dissolving. What is the principle of the homogenization? Size reduction of liquid food product by the application of one or more principal forces in which first force that is the shearing force in the fluid internal shearing force due to the viscosity of that liquid which is also responsible for the size reduction. Then second principal force that is the cavitation effect occurred. When the fluid is flowing through the pipe by reducing the cross section area, you can see this is the venturometer effect reducing the cross section area of the pipe resulting velocities increases in this section and the pressure drop. You can see similar in this venturometer effect by reducing the cross section area due to the reducing cross section area whatever the fluid is flowing this pressure is reduced in this section pressure is very low and the velocity is increases in this section high velocity in this section due to reducing the pressure drop liquid food its formation of the vapors and this vapors resulting formation of the internal bubbles and these bubbles are expanded and finally these bu bubbles are collapsed. Due to the collapse of the bubbles, internal energy is released and the cavitation effect is formed in this section and resulting liquid food product containing constituents, its size is occurred. And third one is the turbulence effect in which turbulent effects when the fluid is flowing through the pipe with the high velocity or by reducing the cross section area turbulence effect is formed by reducing the cross section area velocity increases and the turbulent effects which is also responsible to the size reduction of the liquid food product. These are the major three forces or the effect which are the responsible for the size reduction of the liquid food product. The main equipment used in the homogenization equipment first one is the high speed mixer then second one is the pressure homogenizer, third one is the collider wheel and fourth one is the ultrasonic homogenizer. This is the high speed homogenizer. High speed homogenizer in the homogenization system. This is the mixing element in which may be turbine or maybe into the propeller type. Number of designs are available. In the main parts that is the electrical motor, then shaft, then provided mixing element with the external cover. The basic principle is to create the high shearing and the turbulence flow by the speed of the rotation in which the speed of the rotation is very high. 
in the range of 2000 to 8000 rpm provided the external gearing systems or maybe provided with the speed regulators device the main application used for the low viscosity liquids like the fruit juice syrup flavored milk etc number of the mixing elements are available in the turbine type of the disc type maybe curved type uh, maybe disc with pitch type these are the mixing element in the special designs is provision in for the to produce high shearing force the simplest way to produce the homogenization uh, in a small scale industry this step of the homogenizer is used then second one is the pressure homogenizer pressure homogenizer is most commonly used in the food processing industry for the homogenization it's involving main two part first one is the high pressure pump this is the pump pump piston type of and second one is the valve this is the valve these are the main two parts you can see in this pressure homogenizer two stage pressure homogenizer in which this is the pump in which the feeding of the liquid and this is the valve is the first valve and this is the second valve you can see the first piston type of the pump piston plunger or is also called as a reciprocating pump the pump which is used to produce the high pressure by the combination of one two or three uh, series pump to produce the high pressure the pressure required for the first stage required pressure 2500 psi and the second stage pressure required 500 psi the second part that is the wall this is the main part wall in which the small clearance due to the high turbulence cavity and the shearing force is occurred and the size reduction is occurred the main part of the wall is first that is the set that is the inlet part then second with the wall and third one is the impact rings you can see this is the wall this wall provided with the shaft and uh, provided with the handle the clearance or the gap between the wall and the set is adjustable by providing the wall adjusting ring in this way we can adjust the small clearance or the gap between the set and the wall this is the average uh, clearance between the 50 to 300 microns as per our raw material properties we can adjust the gap you can see the working of the pressure homogenizer liquid food product is continuously fed with the high pressure into the pressure homogenizer the pressure homogenizer in, in this uh, you can see in this picture this is the two stage pressure homogenizer this is the first wall and this is the second wall when the liquid food is uh, fed into the first wall then size reduction is occurred and then again fed to the second wall and again uniform size reduction is occurred and final product is discharged In the milk homogenization process, you can see the milk containing fat globules. These fat globules are in the size of the range 1 to 10 microns. This is the 1 microns, this is the 10 microns, uneven size of these fat globules. This uneven size of the fat globules to convert into the uniform size, that is the size below 2 microns, and this size reduction is occurred, and these fat globules are disturbed into the milk and to produce the homogeneous product you can see by the combination of piston type of the reciprocating pump first stage second and third third stage to produce the high pressure and the pressurized milk is fed into the wall and the size reduction is occurred when we feed of the pressurized milk into the small clearance resulting formation of the cavitation, shearing and the turbulent force and the size reduction is occurred. For the milk homogenization process, main factors in which milk containing fat percentage as for the fat percentage, we can use the single stage or the two stage homogenization. Milk must require to preheat before feed into the homogenization process to melt the fat globules and then homogenization effect is very uh, improving the efficiency. As for the containing the fat percentage, we can use the temperature and the stages in the milk homogenization system. 
you can see in this picture this also two stage homogenization milk is fit into the first stage and then into the second stage this is the wall first set and the second set wall this wall is maybe adjustable as per you can see a uh, simple operation of the two stage pressure homogenization next third one is the colloidal mill in the colloidal mill is similar to the disc type of the mill the main principle of the colloidal mill is that the shearing force and the combination with the centrifugal force to reduce the size reduction you can see the main part of the colloidal mill in which first one is the rotor and the second one is the starter the starter are the stationary disc you can see this is the stationary disc and the rotor is the rotating disc rotating disc with provided with the central shaft and power transmission device is connected the rotor and the starter in which the gap between the both them they are the very small gap between the range of the 50 to 150 micron and this gap may be adjustable speed of the rotation of the rotor in the range of the 3000 rpm for the 25 cm diameter and the 10000 rpm for the 5 cm diameter of the rotors the shape is conical in shape in which the the rotor or the starter may be smooth surface or may be corrugated or the grooved surface number of designs are available in which the stainless steel or maybe hard material as for the raw material properties uh, these uh, designs are available you can see in continuously fitting of the raw material with the control flow rate and in which uh, between the starter and rotor the shearing force which is created uh, size reduction is occurred of the paste like material high viscosity liquid is uh, mostly size reduction is carried out you can see in this photo the main process the parts and the uh, principle of the operation the colloidal mill you can see the main parts in which this is the electrical motor internal provided with the power transmission devices then this is the rotor and starter is fitted in the same side copper and this is the outlet section maybe outlet section with provided with the recirculation system for as per our requirement the main part that is the starter and the rotor you can see this is a starter and the rotors in which they are internally fitted and this rotor is rotated with the high speed the colloidal mill is mostly main application for the high viscosity liquids like the peanut butter and next one is the ultrasonic homogenizer ultrasonic homogenizer it is also called as the sonicator or the sonic disruption of the material in this ultrasonic homogenizer to produce the high frequency sound waves more than 20 kilohertz sound waves which are generated this is the transducer which is the which convert the high frequency sound waves the sound waves are used to convert or the, to create the cavitation and this cavitation resulting size reduction is occurred this cavitation occurred at a microscopic level we cannot see this process and the size reduction is occurred you can see this is the simplest laboratory ultrasonic homogenizer the main part in which the internally uh, provided with the generator this is the internal provided generator controlling devices and this is the transducers device and the at the bottom provided probe the generator which is generate or the convert electrical power which is supply we can supply the electrical power this converted to the high electrical power and this high electrical power is then supplied to the transducer and this transducer device which is the convert the high electrical supply power into the sound waves and this sound waves which is used to create the probe vibration that is the probe at the bottom of this this is the probe device this probe device which is the vibrated with the high due to the sound waves effect and this vibration create the cavitation to inside of that liquid and the resulting size reduction is occurred you can see 
piezoelectrical effect that is the transducer how to convert the transducer in which high energy electrical power which is the supplied high energy electrical power which is then converted into the sound waves and this sound waves used to produce the probe vibrations and this probe vibrations convert to the cavitation effect and this cavitation effect responsible for the size reduction of the liquid food products you can see industrial ultrasonic homogenizer equipment in this continuous process liquid food product must require to feed with the high pressure pump using the high pressure pump continuously feed into the ultrasonic homogenizer then this is the orifice in which reducing the cross section area to create the high uh, shearing effect and the turbulence effect by reducing the cross section area then this is the ultrasonic device in which the transducer which is the generate the sound waves and this is the blade which is the vibrated with the high speed in when we feed the material through the orifice resulting the high shearing turbulence and the cavitation effect is occurred in this section and the size reduction is carried out the basic application of the ultrasonic homogenizer in mostly is for the low viscosity and the medium viscosity liquids these are the references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation and uh, there should be the, given the some of the video links of the uh, homogenization equipments thank you very much